With the deuterium supply this low, even at one quarter impulse, we'll be out of gas inside a week. And they emptied three of our deuterium tanks. Why would anyone steal deuterium? You could find it anywhere. So I've received a request that was fan funded literal months ago, if not longer. And I want to say I'm sincerely apologetic that it's taken so long. I hate that these videos sometimes take far, far longer than they should, but a lot of the reasons is I can't immediately find a lot of information on what's being asked. Either there's nothing there or I have to do a much more expansive deep dive. But the question is, for those who are ultimately interested, what are the issues with deuterium? Specifically in Voyager and Enterprise, why is it hard for them to find it? Why were there episodes where it didn't seem to be plentiful and yet somehow is everywhere in the future? Let's just get into it. For a brief summary, deuterium is a real-life isotope utilized in a fictional device known as a warp core. A warp drive annihilates deuterium and antimatter through dilithium. In early seasons of Voyager, and even in Enterprise, we see that deuterium can be a pretty precious commodity. This is ironic because of them choosing deuterium to run out while it's plentiful, but dilithium is actually very, very rare. Even in Legacy Trek, it's hard to find. So if deuterium is extremely plentiful, both in the Star Trek universe and real life, how the hell do they run out of it in Voyager and Enterprise? There are actually some notable explanations, which surprise the hell out of me. First, an important piece to remember about deuterium is it's sticky as all hell. I'm sure science buffs are having an aneurysm at that description, but deuterium seems to bond to a lot of things. It's found in oceans, atmospheres, and elsewhere. In other words, you aren't just getting deuterium when you're attempting to collect it. You're getting deuterium and a lot of other junk. So in order to get the good stuff, you'll need to refine and purify it. While there is an argument for having those kinds of facilities on a ship, and indeed I would argue that generational ships probably are outfitted in this way, most Starfleet vessels in the 24th century wouldn't be. Also, given that warp drive appears to be one of the main modes of travel, indeed we've seen it used in the Alpha, Beta, Delta, and Gamma quadrants, it makes sense that there are space stations everywhere that provide pure deuterium. Voyager, having space magic in the form of replicators, could easily make trades for said fuel. So, why would they run out of it? A Cretacean merchant told us this was a deuterium facility. He was correct. Our ship took some damage a few weeks ago. We lost most of our reserves. I'm sorry, but we can't help you. In Enterprise, it makes sense. The United Earth is still a new player on the intergalactic stage and thus wouldn't have the resources, or the friends, to obtain the said isotope. In that era, it's also largely dealing with unexplored space, so there's not a lot of space stations. So them scrounging around and looking for places to find and trade makes a lot of sense. However, Voyager is a top-of-the-line vessel in the 24th century. And, of course, we know that the Delta Quadrant is quite populated, so why would they have any issues? Well, we've already established that Starfleet vessels don't have specific departments dedicated to refining deuterium. So Janeway and co. would rely on going from station to station. While deuterium is in abundance, it is naturally occurring, it is possible that there will be places that is just not there. That there will be parts of space that are effectively without anything. It's a dead area. Remember, space is big. It's huge. There's a lot of emptiness between planets, so it is possible that Voyager finds itself with no reserves and no way to get any quickly, causing this issue. And... Because it's just interesting, dilithium isn't really an issue for the Intrepid class either. Remember, it's a more advanced vessel, which means that it doesn't cause tears in subspace via its nacelles, and it has a much more advanced warp core, meaning that it doesn't waste dilithium like a galaxy class would. So in the end, it actually can make sense for Voyager and Enterprise to have issues and deuterium shortages. While the isotope is all around us, it's basically the force, it does have to be purified in order to be used, which would mean that in theory, Voyager might have issues here and there, and Enterprise definitely would. The last piece I do want to address is what form does deuterium take? In Star Trek Voyager's Demon, they talk about mining the isotope out. This, at first blush, appears to be a continuity problem, as mining usually means ore. However, it is possible that they meant pumping it out when they said mining. We never see the process they were going to use, so it's quite possible that it was never meant to be ore in the first place. This entire subject is a bit of a mess, but it's what I could put together. I hope it fits the request. And, ironically, there was more to talk about here than I thought there would be. But this is what I found when doing the research. What do you guys think? What did you find? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next. Lore Reloaded. And they emptied three of our deuterium tanks. Why would anyone steal deuterium? You could find it anywhere.
apparently not here.